So now it's time to create our chipped paint. For that, I have created a folder and have a look inside the folder. The first layer is just filled with um, color values I have written down when I made a test in fear. And on top of this, I started creating this chip paint. So if we enable the rust over here, we can see that the chips uh, are at some point exactly where is the rust, and other points there's no paint. So uh, this is up. Uh, how you want to, uh, the paint to look like. So, what we can do now is just save this image as a PNG with alpha information. Say, so get alpha information, and we will see how this uh, works inside here. But uh, let's finish our paint. So, I turn on again the fill layer, and yes, I added rust. We again disable this one and see the rust. You can see that it matches perfectly with the rust of the metal. So we can save now our paint. And the technique to, for creating um, bump and uh, roughness is exactly the same like we did for uh, the metal. So again, we know that the parts of the rust this will be much rougher than the paint. So if we have a look over here, you can see I made an adjustment because uh, this one is actually uh, too rough for the paint. And so you see we have a variation where the paint is uh, smoother and rougher. And then the rust, which is much more rough. So, for this one, I will enable the black layer so we can save out the roughness map for the paint. Let's have a look at the, the bump map. And here's basically, I just use a, I think it was a 50% gray. And again, if we look at um, the metal bump, let's see, metal bump. Is there something I have to turn off? Ah, no, because <laughs> the metal bump over here, we turn this off. See, so uh, this already has a, a black background. So we can see that on the edges, I lift a little bit, but that's again up to what you're looking after. So we have this one, and then the mask. Let me turn this off. It's the same like uh, the paint. If we turn on the paint, let's see. So, mask, paint. It's actually the same, just that the mask is white and the black background. Okay, then. We go on, saving each uh, map. Let's turn on. Thing. And we'll see how this works inside Fear Studio. Okay, so let's start first by uh, loading the red paint we created, the chip of red paint with Alpha Channel to see how this works. So, if you want to find here, we have the bitmap. And what we see right now that 
uh, we have our ship of red paint, but we have over here a white color. So what we have to do is go to the layer, and what we can do uh, is actually copy texture and go to a layer having the red paint selected and paste it. So nothing happens, but if we select the texture, go to the options, you see we have here the option called channel. Right now it's set to RGB, but we can set it to alpha. And now we have the alpha acting as a mask. And we can already see here in the preview how this is working. So let's have a look here. Our render. And yes, we have our red chipped off paint on top of our metal, rusty metal. But we can also see that the paint is very new, very shiny, and in reality the paint will also uh, suffer uh, some uh, weathering and will be much more rough. You see it here, there will be much more dirt. Also, the, the rust will affect the paint, so it's time to uh, load our finished uh, paint textures with the roughness maps and the bump map. So, let's do this very quick. Um, just loading now maps here we load our mask it's actually the same like before and for the roughness where is it we have to set the roughness to 100 so it reads the map and finally the bump map. Which would be where is it? This one over here. We set this one to maybe. 50. Okay, so we can now render. We have our final material. You can see that now the paint looks old and weathered. You can see the rust spilling over the paint. Okay, so this looks good. Now, there's something more we have to do. Because if we count now the maps we have, it's quite a lot. We have a roughness map for the paint, a bump map for the paint, a roughness map for the metal, a bump map for the metal, a color map for the paint, and also a color map for the metal. Uh, what we can do is actually merge a lot, a lot of these maps together. And this way, instead of having, how many we have now? One, one two, three, five, yeah, six maps, seven maps, we can reduce this to four maps. And I'll show you how you do this in Photoshop. So now it's time to clean up everything and merge corresponding maps together. So we start first with the metal rust and we just go and say merge visible. Now let's go to the paint. Where is it? Here. And again. Now first we uh, merge down here, and we turn on 
metal and much crystal seal. Okay, so now we have our uh, color and fuse map for the metal and for the plastic. So we can save this already. Let's turn this off. And we do the same now for the roughness. Get the roughness, go inside, and merge results. And paint roughness, it's over here, turn this off. And again, much visible. And we turn on the roughness and much visible. So now we have the roughness map for the metal and the paint. Ready to save. Now uh, the bump. So we go inside the bump for the metal. And merge results, turn it off, go to the main pump, and also match results, and turn on the bump. So, and now we have left the mask. The same. I think I made a mistake here, so I go back. Yes, because I had this one enabled. So now I merge the mask. We don't need this one over here, we can bring it down. So now we are left with one, two, three, four maps. We have our roughness, our bump, mask, and our color diffuse. So let's save this maps. One good thing is that whenever you have a grayscale image, like this one's over here for roughness, bump, anisotropic, all these channels that use uh, grayscale um, images, save it as a grayscale image. So what we do now is go to image mode and change from RGB to grayscale. Uh, don't match. Discard. Oh, mistake. What we have to do first is uh, save each map separately, then import it again. Uh, as a single image and then save it as a grayscale image. Okay, you will find it over here, image mode, grayscale. Okay, right now we cannot do it because it needs for the whole document. Okay, so let's see how this merge maps work in Zafia. Okay, so let's load in our merged maps. We start with the fragments of the metal. Now we can just uh, copy this one, go to the paint, and paste it. Let's select the roughness, and we do the same. Copy, paste, and for the bump map. Here. Okay, even though it's the same map, let's do it again. Load our saved mask. And uh, I made some alterations on <coughs> the roughness for the paint and also a little bit, a little bit for the metal. As it was a little bit too dual, so let's see how this works. Well, 
I think it's okay. Uh, of course, we could uh, add more dirt to the paint, maybe even some um, changes in the color of the paint due to sun or whatever. Uh, but this is up uh, to uh, the final texture you want. So, um, this is how we create a, a layered material. Now, the beauty of all this is that with FIA we work with materials. You see, we have here a list of materials and we don't layer or combine material components. No, we do it like it's in reality. Um, we have a metal and on top of the metal there's paint. So, we are layering materials. And um, the great thing about it is that this material will work in all kinds of light simulations, all kinds of um, camera angles. So uh, once you create a material and you save it, it will work in all your scenes. So the time you invest in creating good materials is not uh, time lost because this material you can reuse it and will work just the same. I hope you liked this uh, tutorial and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.